That is absolutely ludicrous. You're, you're frankly just lying. Thing. Well, you're wrong. Well, I, well, okay. <laughs> I just wondered if you've got plans for a new job after next week when you become unemployed. It wasn't a debate, but it was three leaders being pinned to the spot under a barrage of intense questions from the public. For David Cameron, it's being pushed on child benefit, NHS and immigration, and where his red lines were. The British people really do deserve a referendum on whether to stay in a reformed European Union or leave. And I've been very clear that I will not lead a government that does not deliver that pledge. Ed Miliband's assertion there'll be no deal of any sort with the SNP seemed to back him into a corner if there is, as expected, a hung parliament. If, if the price of having a Labour government was a coalition or a deal with the Scottish National Party, it's not going to happen. And Nick Clegg, who had a slightly easier time, was quizzed again on student fees and the wisdom of being in a coalition. I will never apologise, never apologise, whatever the short-term political effects on the Liberal Democrats for having stepped up to the plate in a very plucky and brave way to put the country before party. Right. But afterwards in the spin room, no clear winner. I think to continue the football metaphor, we're headed for penalties and the uncertainty of a shootout. I was indifferent before I came. I'm still deciding. And the question of whether this tough grilling will translate into actual votes will be answered in a week's time.